All right, guys, welcome back to another video in Brody for Beginners. As you guys can see from the title, the reality of owning a buy. So check it out. Do you guys see how this design has shifted? That's because this hoop that they send out is very weak and very cheap. If I just even touch it, completely undoes itself, right? A lot of you guys are going to say, why don't you bring this down, right? It doesn't matter. Check it out. And the reason why I'm making these videos, guys, is because I want you guys to seriously think about the future of you guys' shop. This isn't a buy bashing video, really. I just want to show you guys the reality of what it is to own one of these machines, you know? At the end of the day, you get what you pay for, right? So look, check it out. If I even touch it, it undoes itself, right? So let's, let's go ahead and adjust this, see if that does anything. So... A lot of you guys might say, let's bring it down, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this and bring it lower. So what that's going to do is it's going to, it should basically not allow the, the belt to undo itself. So we're going to go ahead and hoop it again. Right. right, so check it out, right? I made it tighter. Look at that. All right, I'm do it again. look you guys see that right so it's not that i'm i'm not hooping it right it's just that the the quality of the hoops that they send you guys are actually garbage you know what i mean and the more i use the machine the more i'm starting to realize that you know these machines although the price is very attractive you do get what you pay for. You guys see that? So this, I'm gonna show you guys a, a Tajima hoop now. So boom, this hat right here. Now I gotta undo the stitching, re-hoop it, right? Did this do this when I first bought the machine? Of course not, it didn't do it. It did not do it. I'm gonna show you guys the, the hoops that a higher end brand like Tajima is gonna send you. This is a Tajima hoop. Check this out. Check out the difference, right? Let's do the same one. So you guys can actually buy these hoops, right? The only thing, guys, is that you kind of got to think about it like this, right? If you're buying something that is technically a cheaper version of a different machine or you're saving money, are you really saving money if they're sending you guys cheaper things? Not really, right? Can you justify tens of thousands of dollars in difference of price of the machine maybe i don't know i'm just showing you guys the reality of it right because i know i know you guys want the real deal real deal holy field so look i'm gonna show you guys the difference between a, a buy hoop and a tajima hoop check this out look you guys see how the other one i had to like really actually try and mess it up the other one, I would just touch it. And the reason why is because of this. You guys see this? This spring, much better build, much better quality, right? So, like I said, this is not a video to bash and buy. It's not a video to, to scare you guys, I guess you guys can say. I'm just showing you guys the reality, right? So, like... The hoops you guys will get with your guys' machine are gonna be these cheap ones, right? You're probably gonna have to replace these. You might ruin a couple hats relying on them, right? You might ruin a couple hats. It might slow you down. So I wanna show you guys the reality of the video. You know, you guys might see me in some of the buy videos. This isn't a, this isn't, at the end of the day, this isn't a bashing of buy. It's just, again, reality. I'm living in reality. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helps you guys make a more informed decision. You know, can you guys deal with being sent cheap hoops like this? I was at the beginning, you know, at the beginning when I was in the garage, I was okay with this. Now that I have a bigger operation, now that I have a bigger uh, responsibility, financial responsibility, these types of things are starting to... Um, really hinder the business.
you know? Like I said, maybe there's a solution to this type of problem that I'm not aware of, but I'm just saying you can't really compare quality. You really can't compare the quality of the build of the hoops, you know? But at the end of the day, you get what you pay for. So if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and like this video right here. And if you guys have a solution to, to you know, bettering these hoops, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.